Welcome back to the 2022 Valley Forge Disc Golf Association's Battle of Greystone Woods, presented by Dynamic Discs. We're jumping in to round two lead card coverage here at Greystone Woods Disc Golf Course in Morris Plains, New Jersey. Dylan Cook, our champion from last year, is leading the pack again. James Kalinske, Austin Battistoni, and Dan Kane right behind him. I'm Chris DeMarco here with Dan Schifrin. Dan, lead card, are you ready? I am so ready. We had some fireworks on the feature card, and I'm sure we're going to get more of the same on this lead card. So to start, we got Dylan Cook here, our defending champion, following James Kalinske. Like I said, every disc golfer's favorite disc golfer. Austin Battistoni and Dan Kane to round out the card. We saw Austin at Chapter 2 Air up at Warwick. This is our first time seeing Dan Kane, and I believe it's his time, his first time seeing the cameras. Hole 1, par 3, 233. This is that right to left hyzer you saw yesterday. Big shouts out to Kevin O'Brien and Tim Savin on feature card, playing some real great disc golf. Dylan and James managing to push through to lead card after being on feature. That's not an easy feat. Yeah, Dylan's going to be looking to start off his second round the same way he started his first. And that's a little bit inside, and he gets caught up late. Oh, that was about a foot from being the perfect line, though. James Kalinske up on the tee, going with a mid-range here. Oh, no. Miss it. Looks like he had a little too many of those Jersey Mike subs during the lunch break. <laughs> Austin Battistoni now on the tee. Austin Battistoni is first time back on camera after Chapter 2 air this year. Now, Austin has zero MA1 wins, but he is 921 rated, quickly climbing up the charts, playing some really good disc golf lately. I believe he's a Greystone local, mainly a forehand guy, but Dan, he's been working on that backhand. We'll see how it plays here today. Yeah, I see him at Greystone all the time, absolutely shredding with his forehand, so it's going to be a really fun time watching him today. I mean, do you see this? Do you see this? Wow. He has that now. Sorry, Austin, you're not a forehand guy, man. You're, you go both ways. <laughs> he has that now. And Dan Kane to round out our card. Dan Kane stepping up to the tee here. Dan's a 918 rated disc golfer. This is his first Valley Forge event, but he's played in 16 events this year. I believe he's new to the game, but 16 PDGA events already this year. I mean, the guy's a grinder out there. Very excited to see him play, and he's got zero wins. We'll see if he can get his first one here today. Yeah, to make it onto a lead card, you know, in an event like this, a prestigious event like this with cameras around. Prestigious. It is no easy feat, and... Dan Kane. <laughs> That's circle one for the birdie. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, better lucky than good. Love that. Dustin Wolf. I love this. I guess we're just running with this shot of Dustin Wolf. Nothing wrong with that. Great to see the Pro Tour camera guy out here. Dylan playing some smart golf there, laying up under the pin. And a great putt from Dan for the birdie. Are we going to see the uh, the two newcomers to the, the cameras here get birdie birdie? Austin's close. Dan with the hit. Looks like we're going to have a four-way uh, four tie at the top after the first hole. Great shot from Dan Kane. That's a huge start. We know the cameras bring some extra nerves. He's going to be thrilled to get that start. Unfortunate miss from James there. Looked like the wind was pushing a little right to left. Might have affected the putt, but plenty of golf left. Tough start for James, but he's played in 135 career events. He's, uh, he's going to bounce back. Yes. Ooh, a bit nervy. Get in there, Austin. Get in there for that birdie. Sitting a five down. He shot a four down in the first round. About a 975, 980 rated round. Hole two, par four, 465 feet. We'll see how our players go off of the tee here. A lot of wide variety of options you'll see. 
mostly backhand trying to lay up to this log and then attacking that second shot with the high turnover or kind of a low driven forehand but it's real hard to get inside circle one did we see anybody get the birdie here yesterday dan i don't think we did no no we we had a great drive from dylan cook but he was not able to convert on the birdie this one's a little bit wide right if he got the full flight it would have came back a little bit left Dan Kane now tries to flip something up, but doesn't quite get it to stand up. Dead center fairway, though. And this looks like the same disc that Dylan used in the first round. Look at the focus right now on Dylan Cook. Come on, get over. Oh, man. Great shot. A little more height, and it would have been ideal. Okay, James really challenging the ceiling on this hole, but honestly, it was kind of tough to tell where that finished. It looked like it was right a fairway. <laughs> Dan is smart to ask James about his footwear. Dan, round one, hot round leaderboard. Dylan Cook up at the top with a 975. James Kalinske matching. What are you thinking about everybody else here? Yeah, I mean, the top five players, pretty sure playing well above their ratings to put up 975, 966 type golf, and everyone else are absolute shooters out here, so it's going to be tough to keep a lead. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. Wow. That was a super impressive shot from Dan. Full flex, circle two for the birdie. That's a statement shot right there for Dan. Coming out backhand, backhand off the tee. We weren't sure what he had, and then boom, lays down a huge forehand. Austin do about 65 feet. Might have a look at the putt, but it's going to be a little bit congested. James pulling out his bag of tricks. And... I think you mean wheeling out his van of tricks. <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's got everything. That one's a little short though. He might be taking another bogey here. Rare forehand from Dylan. But he's shown us before it's pretty serviceable. That'll be a circle two look. This 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 green's so tough. It's so steadily uphill on the last hundred feet. Austin going for a run. Here comes James for his three. He was a lot closer than I thought. He'll get the four. Dylan not quite keeping it up enough to get it in. Dan really tried to will that one in with the follow through, which that I like. That would have been an incredibly impressive birdie. There goes James for the par. That's that awful zone around 15, 16 feet where you have nothing to gain and everything to lose. On oh your my butt. god. <laughs> Amateur disc golfer's worst nightmare. Yeah, it doesn't feel good to hit. <laughs> Players are cleaning up here on hole two. Big shouts out to all the hole spotters. Again, you can see how many leaves are on the ground out here. It's absolute madness today, but we got 72 players in this field. Beautiful sunny day here in November. Clear skies, good visibility. <laughs> Clear skies, full hearts, can't lose. Hole three, par four, 415, steadily uphill the whole way. It is pretty tight on the fairway, but the rough is very forgiving, especially on this right-hand side. So you'll see a lot of guys go for a big backhand to that zone. Following it up with a nice forehand shot should get you inside circle one for a look at the birdie three. We saw Timur Savin, the young gun, absolutely dismantle this hole uh, in round one. I mean, could not have looked any easier. Let's see if our lead card can do the same. Timur Savin started this round, I believe, at two down. Only three strokes off the leader. We got a big pack of guys at two so down. We'll see what anybody can do here in round two. Dan with a really slow, methodical walk up. 
and puts his drive to a pretty serviceable position. Dan's throw is like 70% follow through. I'm so thrilled <laughs> about that. And shout out to Dylan Cook for sponsoring oh. this hole. Ooh, Dylan getting really skinny on that inside and puts himself to a perfect position. Oh, come on. And <laughs> James does it even better. That's still a 10 out of 10 drive for James, but uh, was looking to be one of the furthest I've ever seen. Austin up into circle one. Dan with this approach, a little bit closed off. He hits the tree. Whoa. Yeah, no, that wasn't my hand. That was the just kidding the branches. All right. <laughs> 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 Your hand on the no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even look at it, honestly, I should have. He might still have a putt. He was dealing with a nice turnover. Very unfortunate bounce, and he might be closed off behind that tree, but he's about 20 feet from the basket. James oh. running it for eagle. <laughs> One of the few players that can forehand understable discs and low speed discs this successfully. <laughs> and, he's, and he's loving it. Let's take another look at this forehand from James here with the putter. Yeah, I said it in round one. Forehanding like putters, like actual putters, like non zone so type discs. Straight. It's, a, it's an elite skill to have. <laughs> Keep an eye out for the Elite Series dart <laughs> coming to you soon. <laughs> The James Kalinske dart. Yeah! No way. <laughs> Dan Kane with the long putt for birdie. That Very was uphill with a standstill on that putt. Insane. That had to be 35, 40 feet at least. Yeah! That's such a useful ability out here in these rocking fairways. <laughs> Dan Kane. And he's rocking the grip bag. Shouts out to our sponsor, Grip. A little soft from Austin. And Dylan with a look for his three. Yeah, that that's all day for Dylan. Yep. Really nice one-two for him. The drive is so important on this hole. Oh, man. I think you said that the other day. You, 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 I think, you, uh, you wise commentator, you. Hole two and three, the drive is so important. I just love the first four holes of this course. Some of the most challenging. Absolutely. Hole four, par four, 567. We're playing off of the blue tee here in this mixed layout. It scores a little bit easier than the whites, but this drive is still pretty monstrous. You've got about 300 feet down this fairway. Low canopy coming in as you hook up left. You will see most players go with a fairway driver, trying to get around this turn for the easy approach. The hill back here is devastating. And this time of year, it is easy to lose discs. So these guys are really hoping for a clean tee shot here. That looks pretty good from Dan. Looks like he'd hit dead center on the fa white fairway for yeah, this looks like a little bit of a left to right tailwind that I think kind of knocked him over there see what Dylan does oh my god it just drifted on me yeah he had the perfect line in round one but he pulled it off to the right this time. Oh, James using every bit of the fairway. Gets caught up a little bit on the right. He had a similar result in round one. He'll have to scramble for par. Austin going with the turnover forehand. I mean, he's on the white side fairway, so that'll do. Yeah. I wonder if that was a wind play or... James is definitely still thinking birdie here, I feel like. He kicks off. He's going to probably go through the back door side that we'll see in a minute on the left side of the screen here as Dylan tries to get back to the fairway with this beautiful patent pending. Yeah, I think one of the difficult things about this hole is that if you don't bite off enough distance, 
or are off fairway at all, it's so difficult to get up to the green in one to two shots. James has a little back doorway here. What? Oh! What? <laughs> James, so what are you, what are you doing, what? man? James is literally the Simon Lazard of New Jersey Disco. Oh my god! Look at that, look at that lane, what? Oh my god, you see the basket. He's having too much fun out here. This is a fantastic shot from James. Gentle drift to the right and just, oh no. <laughs> He's a madman. He's, He's cackling like a madman. It's a bummer he didn't go in. It caught so much change. But I'm pretty happy to get the four. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, he's gonna save far. It's settled in right near the basket. Austin, going for a turnover. Using that stable disc to try and land the disc as flat as he can. That one should be an easy one for James Johnson to find. Shouts out to him for spotting this hole. He was doing it solo for round one. Huge effort. One of the things that I learned about Dan Kane at this event is that he can jump putt one million feet. <laughs> That's why he's scoping out those new shoes from James. He's trying to get some <laughs> extra feet with those trail gloves. <laughs> oh, come on, sit down. I like Even with mm. Yeah, I like the soft approach from Austin, but that kind of causes those rollaways sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even with how thick the leaves are, the, the slope of the hill just still makes these discs roll. Woo! Good putt, James. Nice par. <laughs> One of the Wonky. most exciting pars I've ever seen. Wonky. He grabbed a lot of chains. Pro side, too. Dan Kane, a little uncommitted on that putt. You saw it come out really nose down. It is hard to commit with this backdrop. We used to have one tree back there and it fell down. Now it's even more deadly. Dan's still getting the par though, playing some really solid disc golf here. Yeah, two down through four is no joke on this layout. Tough double for Austin. He's three back from the lead. We'll see what he can do here on hole five, par three, 294. Two options. Left side is a big spike hyzer forehand. Right side is usually a low speed backhand. I'd love to see a chart of how difficult holes are throughout the year. Obviously almost every hole is gonna be easier here at this time of year. But uh, this, is, this feels like it gets a lot more straightforward for the forehand side. It also makes it a lot easier to throw that forehand super long. Shout out to Adam Colucci. Oh, wow. He kind of skipped off the tree log there. <laughs> what, what was that? <laughs> That's back to back great shots for Dylan Cook here on hole five. Oh, it's way nose What a terrible ball. Oh, what a great tree! Oh, Better lucky than good. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you all. James with some infectious vibes right now. I love it. Ah, that's a little too low and flat from Austin. Oh, no, it's oh, not. Hey, okay. that plays. I mean, you got a big skip. skip. <laughs> <laughs> you like big skip. Not as big. I have to specify. <laughs> All right, Dustin, Medium the tree's not skip. really red anymore. Yeah, you gotta be You're talking about the little brown one? Right yes, sir, yeah. Dylan Cook. Through the branches and into the basket. Dan, you got yours yet? Two for two on hole five. Why, why did we not throw down a nice forge view of both of his drives and putts? <laughs> that I'd love to see. Two identical birdies here on hole five for Dylan Cook, and he's off to another hot start.
Yeah, unfortunately, Dan pushed himself a little too long in the basket and forced the layup on that one. I see Scott DeMarco lurking in the background. <laughs> Just out here TDing like a boss. <laughs> Wait, think, James uh, hit that far off the tree? He was parked. That's unbelievable. I didn't realize how fortunate he got. That's awesome. It's unbelievable. I can't believe it. Hole six, par three, 314. Dan and I agreed yesterday. This is a really nice flex backhand. If you kind of sneak in here on this side late, but most guys are just gonna go with the flip up backhand or a nice stable forehand shot. Uh, yeah, that turnover backhand can be tricky as it can tend to glide a little too much and then you're kind of depending on the Plinko action. Dylan. Dylan. Wow, Dylan. Just flipping up. Just flipping up everything. That's a really, really nice putt inside circle one. That was just a perfectly straight shot and he is in circle one. That's all you need. James Kalinski, one stroke off the lead. Oh, so J James <laughs> trying to thread that inside gap as well. And he's doing his own commentary as that was pretty lucky. But got to be good to get lucky. This is the day to be local, bro. <laughs> Everybody's loving it. How can you not? Dylan said I love this game. And right next to each other. Dan Kane lining up a nice backhand here. Missed it. Really, really disciplined on the tee, Dan Kane is. That slow walk up like you mentioned earlier. Wet. <laughs> My goodness, that is that's in the middle of nowhere. That's but one of the worst kicks I've seen on this hole. But a really nice walk up. Those MVP gl discs glide so much. <laughs> Oh, God, and Austin's just showing Austin. us that right here. Man. That is a fantastic stop. shot. Stop, stop, please stop. Oh, my God, stop. No. How? Man, that is still a fantastic shot from Austin, but really unfortunate on the ground. Excellent scramble from Dan Kane here after Austin's tough break on that roll away. And he's just low on the comebacker. That's tough. Uh, yeah, James really strong with that birdie putt. With him. Not yeah, so strong nice with work. the putter pickup. Real nice work capitalizing from the edge of circle one. And Dylan will match. This is just textbook disc golf here on hole six. This is why you love to see blue holes out there. Absolutely, the variety on uh, Greystone Woods is unmatched. Also, just Dan Kane with an, an impressive par. I had no idea where he went off that first shot. Yeah, I could not believe how close he was to the basket. And dry. <laughs> <laughs> what? Thank you so much to Grip Equipment. We gave away five G2 bags, some really, really nice bags for good putter only rounds, or whenever you just want less discs out there. James Glinski was doing some crazy things to figure out who the winners were. Big shouts out to Grip, and shouts out to all of our winners out there. Here we go, RJ, Bill Hove. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you dug yourself in deep. I see Matt's out Matt's of really, Yeah, you really committed to that there. Everybody was out there getting the toss for the bag. Let's take a look at the leaderboard with 12 holes to go. 
Dylan Cook leading the charge after taking down the event last year. I mean, wow. For sure, James Kalinske hot on his heels. Dan Kane playing some really good golf. Dylan and James have four strokes on Dan Kane and five on the rest of the field. They've got a huge lead here. Hole seven, par three, 235, left to right tunnel shot. This one can be an easy birdie at times, but we've seen doubles, we've seen triples. Let's see if we can get a little mix up here. Yeah, this one can literally be a slippery slope. He's still looking at me. So I guess he could have turned his head like it rolled. <laughs> Fortunately, <laughs> that does stay These guys are adapting, Dan. They're adapting. <laughs> yeah. We need to take the cameras away from them for a little bit. I think that's be, settled. That'll be just fine for James. Dan and James both trying to track down Dylan here. That's a beautiful drive. Feathered in there from Dan Kane. I expect Austin to be feasting on this hole. Austin's going with the Vivo barefoots, by the way. More barefoot shoes out here. Man, that was tracking towards the basket. Edge of circle for Austin, though. Upside down disc. Man, I gotta be honest, I'm not a fan of that play when there are that many leaves on the ground. Because it just... It could just slide forever. But James makes it work. Austin. Yeah! Yes, sir. Finally converts. Definitely on his longest birdie look yet. That is a fantastic conversion from Austin Battistoni on that birdie, too. Keeps himself in this tournament. Trying to win that marksman basket. Staying within four of Dylan. And it's gonna stay there for now. Dan with some pretty good pop on his putt, but a little too strong and high. I really like Dan Kane's putt. He keeps it low, he releases it low, but it's super committed. And he's got a really flat angle on it too, so it's super wind resistant. Yeah. Hole eight, par three, 198 feet. This is a right to left downhill backhand shot for most of the field. You've got water on the right side, so you wanna land your disc in flat. We're gonna be going to the wrong basket here, but that little grass mound you see on the left is where the basket is today. And it's a great day. Yeah, once again, let's just marvel at this beautiful drone footage. It's it's really just, you know, it's, it's good times, it's good friends, yeah. great drone flights. Don't forget to subscribe to the video. Dan and I were, were so confident we were gonna we were gonna drop a plug to subscribe at the beginning. We're really bad with yeah, that. Yeah, so we're gonna drop it now. Like, we're gonna drop subscribe. it now. Share the video around. Help us throw more disc golf tournaments in your local area. Hit that notification bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. Valley Forge Disc Golf League returning next week. Here's a player I could see in the league one day, Austin Battistoni. Really unlucky roll away off of that tree. He's going to find himself out of bounds with a tough scramble for the bogey four. Dylan with the oh. daintiest little putter toss oh. there. I mean, he's like playing catch with the basket. Just marching down the field right now. I mean, that that's going to be another birdie for Dylan. Oh, no. James... James almost always puts the perfect angle on his disc. He just sometimes misses a little to the right, I'm noticing. At least today. That's a tough slip for Dan Kane. Yeah, back foot slipped out on that one. And that's out of bounds. Super unfortunate. Actually, it's not. It's in bounds. Now it's out of bounds. <laughs> Dan, I'm sorry. I love your play. Um, it's That was like my call of James <laughs> in round one. Same hole, too. Solid approach from James. I'm sure that's a little bit more than he wants coming back, but uh, he's been putting real well today, especially in round two. 
kind of a riskier play from Austin, but he's so confident with that forehand, he's able to just nestle it back in there on that Anheuser angle. Without a line there, I'm not calling you out. Okay. Sure. Anybody think there's so much lead that you can just Austin, stand on top. You yeah. good? Dan Kane jokes on us, Dan, because Dan Kane is inbound. That's that's the correct call. Benefit goes we to the player. We need graphics. We need graphics, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> As the camera's spazzing out. Hey, it's really, really good to be back here in the booth. Back watching disc golf with you guys and girls. All things considered, that's going to be a really good bogey for Dan. <laughs> and he knows it. <laughs> James Kalinski. Oh, I was bound to do that once today. Man, that was low, right out of his hand. Super uncharacteristic. That's gonna be a two-stroke swing between Dylan and James here. Gonna bring James three strokes behind with ten to go. So impressive. Look at that scorecard. Four down through eight. Four down through eight. That is really difficult to catch. Also, shout out to Dan for having literal Christmas lights on his bag. He's got Christmas lights on his bag? That's, those are lights. I gotta see this. Hole 9, par 3, 244. If you can believe it, this is actually 244 across the lake. Now, <laughs> we're gonna be coming straight through this tunnel right here to the basket. We saw Dylan Cook drop a beautiful hole-in-one on this hole yesterday. Shouts out to him. Check out that coverage if you haven't already. Yeah, we can't do this without the players, so it really means a lot. I know uh, there's a lot of desire to get on feature car, but that is not taken for granted. And I'm sure Dylan Cook will not be taking that kick for granted, as he'll have a long putt for the birdie, too. Whoa, did he kick off that, that very first tree to the right? First tree, yeah. <laughs> Austin's hanging on here. He's had a couple tough breaks. This one's a bit wide left. Maybe a long putt for the two. James looking to recreate a shot from round one. A little inside. Dustin Wolf. For some reason, we feel the need to mention whenever. I, maybe it's just me. I feel the need to mention whenever I see Dustin Wolf. It's like Waldo, man. <laughs> Literally, Dustin Wolf is Waldo. Oh, a little Annie skip for uh, Dan. And that puts him in putting range. It's difficult to make a decision off of this tee. I see a lot of players just kind of throwing it straight towards that gap. Yeah, standard up and down for James. Dylan giving it a good bid. Steve Beckman making some noise. <laughs> Austin, a Greystone veteran, super familiar to that happening. I absolutely love playing disc golf with Steve Beckman. It's been a long time, but he's a fantastic local around here. And Austin, unfortunately, a little short on his par putt. I, I envision that we'll have Steve Beckman on coverage. I feel like that's been said before. I would love to see Beckman on coverage. Yeah. Good putt for James for the par. There's Warren out there spotting on hole 18. Austin with a tough bogey as we round out this front nine. We got nine holes to go. Dylan with a three stroke lead on James. Dan, some decent disc golf from our lead card here. You got any thoughts so far? Uh, Dylan Cook is playing really friggin' good. I mean, it's going to be hard to imagine anybody catching up to him. He's but. doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll take a look at the leaderboard here. Dylan got three Man. strokes on James Kalinske and Shane Miller going three down through the last three holes. We saw him at three under par after hole six. Now he's six under par after hole nine. He is heating up. He's yeah, currently on chase card right now, three strokes behind. That's and we got Dan Kane. Five four under, I think that's four under front nine for Shane Miller matching Dylan Cook. 
Yeah, we're big Shane Miller boys around here. He traveled up from Virginia, a big fan of the channel, so it's nice to have him out here. We got Kurt Niebank, Kyle Fairbanks, tons of other players out here uh, battling it out for a spot in that top four podium finish. We will see you guys on the back nine in a short moment. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And if you and make a new account and subscribe again. No, we'll just get banned for that. Don't do like that. you could for sure get Just like and subscribe. Don't do that. Just like and subscribe. Uh, okay.